In this new watch tutorial, we're going to talk more about the automation system and the three fundamental write modes that are available, uh, touch, latch, and crossover. So let's take a look. Now, there are several different modes for writing automation, and these are accessed right here. We are in touch mode right now, but there's also latch, crossover, and trim. So touch mode is really what it sounds like. Um, you can just touch any parameter and begin to write that parameter. And the second you let go of the parameter, it will return to its previous value like that. Now, if I want to try latch, what's going to happen here is the second I touch a parameter, it will start writing, but it'll stay in write mode until I stop the transport or if I take the channel out of automation right, like this. So I'm gonna grab the fader, but now I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna to continue to write that automation level until I stop or take the channel out of right. So auto latch mode is helpful if you're setting up a whole bunch of channels and you can't hold on to them the entire time. You just wanna set their levels and run um, the transport for a while to write those volume levels in for a certain period of time or any other parameter. The next one is crossover. Crossover is a little bit more complex. And the idea here is um, once you start writing automation, you will continue to write automation until you've crossed over the volume line two times. So, to begin with, I'm going to grab the fader, pull it down. If I let go, it's as if we're in latch mode. However, if I move the fader again and I pass through the existing automation line, it will take that channel out of right. So let me do that again because this can be a little counterintuitive. Okay, so the fader is playing back the automation. I'm gonna grab the fader, move it up, and now I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna to continue to write the automation level until I grab the fader again, and now I'm gonna pull it down. And when, the, when my automating fader level crosses the existing automation line, it's gonna drop out of record like that. That is what crossover is. And what crossover is designed to do is, is to uh, facilitate the return of the parameter to its original value in a smooth fashion. So instead of me letting go of the fader and it's snapping back to the previous value, I have to push the fader till it reaches that value and then the system will go out of right. And that way that transition will be smoother. This is not what you need all the time, but for certain situations, it can be very, very helpful. So you got touch mode where everything snaps back after you let go. You have latch mode where it stays in right until we stop the transport or take the channel out of right. And then we have crossover mode, which is uh, intended to help us return to the previous automation level smoothly by crossing over the automation line. Okay, so there you have an overview of the three different write modes, touch, latch, and crossover. Uh, in upcoming automation tutorials, we'll talk more about trim, which affects all three of those writing modes. So we'll see you in that tutorial.